What causes leukemia? Leukemia is a blood cancer that is caused by the increase in the number of white blood cells in your body. Those white blood cells choke out the red blood cells and platelets that your body needs to be healthy. The extra white blood cells are not healthy for your body. Symptoms of leukemia, fever or chills, weakness or fatigue, bleeding easily, infections that are severe or keep coming back pain in your bones or joints, vomiting, headaches, seizures, weight loss, sweating at night, shortness of breath, swollen lymph or spleen. Causes of leukemia and its risk factors. It is not known what exactly causes leukemia. What is known is that people who have it have some unusual chromosomes but the chromosomes don't cause leukemia. You can't prevent leukemia but there are things that trigger it. This include smoking, exposure to a lot of radiation or certain chemicals, chemotherapy or radiation therapy to treat cancer, family history of leukemia, genetic disorder like Down syndrome. How leukemia develops. There are three types of cells in blood. White blood cells. This fight infection. Red blood cells. They carry oxygen. Platelets. Help blood clot. Your bone marrow makes billions of new blood cells every day most of them are red cells. For people with leukemia, their bodies make more white cells than it needs. These leukemia cells can't fight infection the way normal white blood cells do. There are many, this affects the way your organs work. When this builds up over a period of time, you may lack enough red blood cells to supply oxygen, enough platelets to clot your blood or enough normal white blood cells to fight infection. Classification of leukemia. Leukemia is grouped by how fast it develops and gets worse and by which type of blood cell is involved. The group of how fast it develops is divided into acute and chronic leukemia. Acute leukemia. This happens when many of the abnormal blood cells don't mature and can't carry out normal functions. Chronic leukemia happens when there are some immature cells but some are normal and can work the way they should. The second group which is the group with what type of cell is involved, is divided into lymphocytic and myelogenous leukemia. Lymphocytic leukemia involves bone marrow cells that become lymphocytes. A kind of white blood cell. Myelogenous leukemia involves the marrow cells that create red blood cells, platelets and other kinds of white blood cells. Types of leukemia, acute lymphocytic leukemia. This is the most common type of leukemia found in children. It can spread to your lymph nodes and central nerve system. Acute myelogenous leukemia. It's the second most common type of leukemia in children and one of the most common in adults. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia. It's the second most common type of leukemia in adults. Some kind of chronic lymphocytic leukemia will be stable for many years and won't need treatment but other bodies aren't able to create normal blood cells and will need treatment. Chronic myelogenous leukemia. With this type of leukemia, you might not have any noticeable symptoms. You will be diagnosed with it when you have a blood test. Adults over 65 years are at higher risk. How leukemia is diagnosed. Doctors check for signs of leukemia in blood and bone marrow. The tests done include Blood test. A complete blood count examines the number and maturity of different types of blood cells. A blood smear looks for unusual or immature cells. Imaging tests. CT, MRI and PET scans can spot signs of leukemia. Spinal tap. This involves fluid from your spinal cord. It can tell if the leukemia has spread. Bone marrow biopsy. This test involves marrow taken from your pelvic bone with a long needle. This can tell how severe and what type of leukemia you have. Treating leukemia. The treatment depends on the type of leukemia you have, how far it has spread and how healthy you are. Treatment includes Chemotherapy Radiation Biologic therapy 
targeted therapy stem cell transplant surgery